Okay, so welcome to In the Kitchen with Jelly, where I'm not micing up today, so it might sound a little, audio might be bad, but what we're doing is a In the Kitchen with Jelly makeover. We're starting with this, and we're using a product called Rust-Oleum Transformation, Cabinet Transformation. They make one for the countertops too, but at some point I'm going to put an island in, take the pool table out, put an island, and we're going to match all new countertops. So right now all we're going to do is paint these cabinet faces and sides. So we're going to show y'all if it works, how well it works, and how easy it is, and how well it looks when it's done. But anyhow, in the kitchen with Jelly, we'll be right back with some updates. Okay, so I've been watching a lot of videos where people remove their hinges completely. They remove these screws and all that stuff. Well, honestly, if you have this type, and I even saw a guy with this type trying to figure it out and he couldn't get it. If you have this type hinge, it's not necessary to take all this off. All you have to do is loosen this screw. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and loosen the bottom one where I can show you the whole cabinet comes off right easy. You just back it off a little bit. And you back this one off a little bit. You have to kind of hold it as you do the top one or it'll fall off in your hand. And then you just slide that to right there. And you got to get everything kind of the jiha. <laughs> but there's a cabinet door. And uh, that's all you need. I mean, there's no need in doing anything else. And then when you go back to put them on, obviously right the opposite. But anyhow, I just thought I'd say that. Okay, so I'm not sure you're going, going to be able to tell this in the video. But there's what deglazing does. You can see that cabinet has a, I don't know, scuffed look. And this one has not been done. I mean, not only does it clean it extra well, this is the bottom door and this is the top door. It, uh, you can tell, it does something. So I definitely wouldn't skip a step. And I'll be honest with you, what I've been doing, they say wipe them, you know, do it and then wipe them clean with a, with a wet towel. I'm propping them up on that wall and spraying them with that water hose and then we're wiping them off. So we'll see if that gives problems. I can't imagine, I mean, water's water. It is a little more. And I worry about it standing in these cracks, but I've been flipping them over this way and then flipping them over this way every once in a while and drying them. So anyhow, now you know. Okay, so there is one coat of the Bond coat. And uh, you can see it doesn't cover real, real well on the first coat. Now that's the second coat. And uh, we've only done that on one door. And you can see the rest of them. And you'll also see it needs a third coat. It's still got some brush strokes. Or, you know, maybe you could leave it like that. But right now, that's where we're at on the second, or that particular door is on the second coat. And uh, there is one coat. So we're going to make our minds up and uh, see if we want to stay with this or do a third coat. But anyhow, there you go. Okay, so here is what, this is called glazing, is that right, mm -hmm. Kathy? Yes. And here is the glaze going on with that, is that cheesecloth or something similar to cheesecloth? Mm -hmm. I think it is. And she put, you put it on with that first, didn't you, Kathy? That, yeah. that foam brush? <laughs> yes. And then here's what it looks like before the glaze. And then here's what it looks like after. That was actually pretty much dry. So, it's obviously simple because them two right there are doing it. But anyhow, <laughs> it does look good, i got to admit. But as you can see, without the glaze, you've got a, just a solid, kind of boring color. Add the glaze, it adds a lot to the cabinet. But, we'll be back in a little bit to show you all the next steps and the finished product. Okay, so welcome back to uh, In the Kitchen with Jelly in Jelly's new kitchen. And uh, my wife orchestrated this, and it looks fantastic. And you've seen the, the shots before where it started as a kind of a 15-year-old cabinetry. And uh, for what was it, $75? $75, $80? We did this, every bit of it, and I mean really... I'm not just saying it. It looks professional. It looks great. 
And here's what we used, or what, no, what she used. Only thing I did was I did a little bit of scotch Bright on some of the cabinets when we deglazed them. But other than that, she did it. So she was the one that ran this show. So what do you think? It was... It turned out great. I've been wanting to do this for a while. And I got to tell you, uh, it depends on what you want. But this box is true to color. Um, when I put the smooth, um, just the top coat, the bond on, I was, it had just a smooth light, light gray and I wanted the glaze. So this is with the glaze and very glad I did it because I wanted variation. I didn't want one just solid color. So I like the variation because it kind of br brought out the brown as you can see that we were actually thinking about painting the wall, but now we don't have to because it just gave it a good variation of color. So very pleased, very excited. And, and what she said, I argued a little bit. If you look right here, on the top of this box, and I think she'll agree with me, or I know she will, if I can get it in this shot, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to. But when she says true to color, that is absolutely straight up. That is, that, that's what it looked like when we, before we put the, uh, what'd you call it? Glaze. The glaze on. It had a gray look, and I was happy with that. I didn't want her to put the glaze on. But after she put the glaze on, it took it from really looking good to a, a professional look. And if you can see, again, 15-year-old cabinets. Now, we're, we're going to do something with these tops and this backsplash, but this is just step one of a complete In the Kitchen with Jelly makeover. <clears throat> and uh, now, I had glazed these windows, or these glass, I don't know, a couple of years ago, and that was as simple as spraying it with a spray can. But we're going to do something with that maybe, or it's, it's fine like it is. But what I'm saying is, we didn't even change our hardware. This is the same hardware we had before we started. And uh, it works. I, I got to say, <clears throat> I am uh, impressed with her decision to, to do it. I, I, again, I, I rejected it a little bit. But now that I've seen the end process, uh, $80, $75, $80. It is a great thing to do. Anyhow, in the kitchen with Jelly, <clears throat> y'all know what I do. And uh, soon there'll be an Instant Pot or a, uh, maybe a uh, Ninja Foodie sitting here or who knows what. But anyhow, y'all have a good night. Thanks for watching my videos. Y'all come back to see me. www.jelly007.com Don't forget that. Bye-bye, y'all.